All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, we come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of America, all right, which according to the Bible is Babylon the Great. First off, before we do that, man, we want to give all glory, honor, and praise to, to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation and blessing to the Akim pushing his word. And truth is sincere around the four corners of the earth. All right. And we out here again, man, through the, through the mercy of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. We out here putting in work, man. All right. Yeah, because this our, is this our occupation right here, man. All right. This is our occupation. We're teachers, man. All right. And we're going to get paid for this, man, at the end of the day, man. We're going to get paid for it, man. You know, so it's got a lot of shit going on, man. A lot of... Uh, plagues and things of that nature, you know, that's uh, coming upon the earth, man, all right, which lets you know it's an indication that we almost out of here, man, all right, hey, get second, uh, matter of fact, get ed, uh, Exodus 7, start from the top right here, hey, because like I was saying, I was, I was meditating on this, man, all right, and like the Heavenly Father, he's about to harden Esau's heart, man, all right, by bringing all the plagues and stuff upon his kingdom, man, just like in the time of Pharaoh, man, all right, Hey, because as long as Esau think he in control, man, all right, everything all good, man, all right? But at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father, he, he's actually in control. But Esau, he do certain things, you know, to think he's in control, man, all right? He killed Jake on a, on a, on a mass level, all right? He get killed, he killed uh, Yahweh Shai, man. He, he crucified him, all right? He painted over our faces, all right? He ruled his kingdom, the world with an iron fist, man. All right, but the Lord see he about to start shaking things up, man. Like I said, he about to harden Esau's heart. And in the time of Pharaoh, man, when Moses and Aaron came to Pharaoh and let them know, basically let the Lord's people go, man. What Pharaoh did, man, he made their tags heavy, man. He made them make bricks without uh, straw and shit, man. All right, and that's what Esau about to do to, to you niggas out here, man. He about to make your tags uh, even heavier, man. All right. He about to lay out even more heavy yoke on your necks, man. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 7, verse 1. It's saying, And the Lord Yahweh said it to Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. Yeah, right. Hey, because that's what the Lord did to us, man. He made us a God to, to these goddamn Edomites out here, man. All right? Why? Because we know everything that they tried to hide from us, man. We know more than they know, man. All right? We got spiritual powers, all right? When people see us out here, man, it's like a, 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 we a spectacle, like the scriptures say, man. It's unbelievable, man, that, that we out here, man. Especially the elites, man, all right? The 1% uh, of uh, these Edomites, man, all right? So we, we made a God unto them. Here it is. We in they fucking kingdom, and we out here cussing they ass out, man. Saying they kingdom gonna be destroyed. Saying we gonna take they women and they children, man. In due time, man, when the Heavenly Father, uh, when he sanctioned it, man. So we got to this goddamn devil over here too, man. All right? Just on a lower level, man. All right? I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. And here thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee. And yeah. Aaron. And that's what we're doing, man. We're speaking all that the Lord commanded us, man. All right? Talking about the plagues that's going gonna, to gonna come to place, man. Talking about martial law. Talking about the so-called UFOs, which the chariots of Israel, man. Talking about the ICBM missile that gonna destroy this place, man. We talking about all your uh, quote unquote uh, 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 what's agendas, the word? huh? Agendas. Yeah, no, we, we talking about the um, the events that taking place, you know, like the, uh, the hurricanes and shit, yeah. you know, hey, the plagues, you know, the locusts, the earthquakes, so on and so forth, man. Go ahead. And say. And Aaron, thy brother, shall speak unto, unto Pharaoh that he sent, send the children of Israel out of his land. Yeah, because that's what we're doing anyway, man. But we tell, hey, the so-called white man, he, he ain't going to let us go just like Pharaoh did, man. All right? Because why, man? Pharaoh, hey, hey, Pharaoh, he was making merchandise of the Israelites in that time. And that's the same thing that the so-called white man is doing today, man. That's why this place is spiritually Egypt, man. Can they do the same thing that the ancient Egyptians did, man? You got all your goddamn majority of your uh, uh, rooftops and, and houses, man. They in a, in a, a triangular shape, man, in the form of a fucking pyramid. Here it is down there on the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's a, it's a fucking uh, pyramid. In Las Vegas, they got that glass pyramid. All right? You got the uh, ancient, uh, I mean, you got the Washington Monument, man, which is nothing but an ancient uh, uh, Egyptian obelisk, man. 
all right? A fucking uh, erect penis, man. All right? See, because there's a lot of uh, uh, symbology in all these, uh, you know, these things, man, where Esau, you know, that he pushed, man. All right? His statues and uh, uh, his, his uh, uh, you know, what monuments. have you, man. You know, yeah, his monuments, come. You got it. Uh -huh. Brother shall speak to Pharaoh that he, that he sent the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Yeah, so that's what the Lord about to do, man. He gonna harden Pharaoh, Pharaoh's heart, man, which these goddamn Edomites, they're a, um, a comparison to uh, uh, the ancient uh, Egyptian Pharaoh, man. Hey, the Lord is gonna harden his heart, man. Why, man? Because, hey, Jake, first of all, Jake gonna rise the fuck up, man. Jake gonna start rebelling against this old goddamn society, man. This whole uh, uh, system, man. Jake is gonna start rebelling against this shit. And that's gonna piss Esau off, man. Jake ain't gonna be going to work. Jake gonna be looting and rioting. Jake gonna be killing Edomites, man. That's gonna make his motherfucker uh, heart heart, man. And he said he gonna send what? The signs, read that again. But it's, it's, ex it's Exodus chapter 7, verse 3. It's saying, I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Yeah, he gonna multiply his signs and his wonders in the land of Egypt, man. All right, and, and that's what the Lord doing now, man. By way of what, man? The goddamn tornadoes. First and foremost, the hurricanes, man. All right, two weeks ago, it was just, uh, I think that was a fucking category three or four hurricane too. Uh, hurricane Harvey, man. And here it is two weeks later. Down there in Miami, they fucking flooded right now. Them motherfuckers is getting flooded, getting slammed with that goddamn hurricane, man. It's an island in the uh, Atlantic Ocean that's called the Island of Barbuda. I thought they would talk. I thought they would talk about Bermuda, but it's an island called Barbuda, man. All right, and it's a whole bunch of uh, fucking uh, jakes that live on that island, man. And the Lord destroyed that bitch, man. All right, they got no communication, and I and, and that, uh, that 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 hurricane, man, it's just traveling up the uh, at hey, the south. Uh, 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 it's traveling um northwest, man, up the coast of, of Florida, man. And the Lord, He sent that hurricane to flood out a hey, those people down there in Florida, man. All right at the end of the day, man. So that's the Lord's signs and wonders that he multiplying on Egypt, man. All right, it's gonna get bigger and better, man. It's gonna be locusts and uh, flies and insects. It's gonna be all type of shit, man, that the Heavenly Father gonna send on this place, man. Boy, you got it out. He said, multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall now hearken unto you, yep. that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. Now hold that. Go to uh, 2 Andrews, chapter 15. We start at 8. 2 Andrews 15 and 8, man. Because that's what the Lord about to do, man. He ain't about to be sitting back no more, man. Because the Lord said what, man? He was going to go into his place. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it right quick, man. If you got something up. No, no, no. Okay. All right, all right. I can get that for you, though. Yeah, Hosea uh, chapter 5 and uh, 15 real quick. Right. Hosea 5, verse 15. It reads, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Right, and that's what the Lord did, man. See, that's why he about to return from his place, man. Because he went, he returned to his place until we acknowledged our offense, man. And that's what the elect is doing, man. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right? The head apostles and the elders and the brothers on down, man. That's what we did, man. They've been doing it for 30 years and counting, man. All right? And that's what we're doing. We acknowledging our offense, man. So that means that what, man? The Heavenly Father, he about to show his face again, man. That's what he was waiting for, man, the whole fucking time. Ever since we was in slavery, man. Ever since we came over here and started going off. That's what the Lord was waiting for, man. He was waiting for us to acknowledge our sins, man, and our, our offense and our iniquities, man. All right? And seek my face. And, and seek his face. Not what we're doing, man. We're seeking the Lord's face, man. All right? Through the scriptures, man. Through the laws, that's the commandments, man. That's how we're seeking the Lord's face, man. And, and, and in their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, in our affliction, we shall seek him early because we're being afflicted as well, man. All right, we didn't know we was being afflicted, but once the Lord revealed it unto us, that's when we started seeking the Lord. Oh, the Edom are supposed to be over us. Oh, we we supposed to be kings. We supposed to be rich. We supposed to have all these women. All right, we re, we realized our offense, man. Then we that's when we seeking the Lord, man. All right. Yeah, man, we what you got? Huh?
-hmm. that is second Ezra chapter 15 verse 8 it say I will hold my tongue no more uh -huh. as touching their wickedness right so that's 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 the point that the Lord is at man he not about to hold his tongue no more man and, and, and touching their wickedness man all this shit that the so-called white man do put GMOs in our food all right Hey, these other nations too, man. Y'all don't get a pass too, man. Kind like the right. brother in uh, Chicago, man. We was dogging the fucking uh, the, the, a the Arab, man. You motherfuckers, man. Y'all y'all don't eat pork. Y'all know that it's against the scripture, but here it is. You sell it to us, man. Pieces of shit, man. Y'all going to get judgment too, man. The Heavenly Father, he said he not going to hold his tongue no more, man. He about to start sending these plagues and these marvelous wonders upon the earth, man. Hurricanes and all, man. He about to destroy this bitch, man. That's right. And rightfully so, man. Everybody always want America to continue, man. Why the Lord going to destroy this place, man? If you asking me why the Lord going to destroy this place, you got to be a stupid nigga, man. You ain't paying attention. You don't do no research, man. All right? Here it is, the so-called white man. He been fucking us up from the beginning, man. All right? Hey, he got this uh thing that these Edomites used to do. It's called African Dodger, right? All right? You know, like at the carnival and affairs and shit, right? Nowadays, they when they stick their head in a thing, they, they throw a pie at you, right? Yeah. That game at, 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 at the carnival, right? But it's yeah. the one called African Dodger, man. In the late 1900s, around like the uh, uh, 18, the late 1800s, man, the early 1900s, they used to play this this game at the carnival called African Dodger, man. All right, and what they would do, they would give you three balls, just like at the carnival today. You you got the ball, you throw it at the bottles and knock it down to get a prize. The African Dodger one was. Well, they'll put so-called Negroes and, and they head in there and they'll give them fucking three fucking baseballs, the hard, hard ass baseballs that they play in the, in, 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 a, in a MLB with, man. All right, and throw three of them. They even use a fucking baby, man. Put a fucking little Israelite baby in there and throw hard as fuck in the baby and crack his head open, man. That's the type of shit that these Edomites used to do. So you gotta pay attention and do research, man, because it's a lot of shit. That's hey, like the scripture said, man. He gonna uh, reveal thy skirt, man. He gonna lift up thy skirt. Roughly paraphrasing. Con. That's uh, we, that's the thing that's gonna be revealed is the shit that nobody knew about, man. A lot of brothers didn't know that. That's Edomites used to do that. Put babies in the fucking uh the thing and give them on uh, three balls for ten cents, man. Three hard ass fucking baseball for ten cents, and you gotta hit the motherfucking African. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, we we're not African anyway, man. All right. Con. We ain't Egyptologists. We ain't none of that shit, man. Fuck Africa, man. All right? You got it up. Then in 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and 8, it said, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, so the Lord ain't, he, he about to, he not about to let you niggas do what y'all want to do no more. And it's like, uh, hey, it's a movie. Yeah, y'all always see your brothers always talk about a movie. That be the spirit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you know movies is spiritual and shit, man. Yeah. Hey, but get, but it's this movie. It's called Megamind. I don't know if brothers know familiar with the movie called Megamind. All right, it's with uh, Will Ferrell. It's a it's an animated movie with Will Ferrell, and he's the uh, he's the uh, uh, as you call it the antagonist, the the, the the wicked one. He's the he's the nigga that's causing all the trouble and shit. All right, and it's it's a one that play uh. Brad Pitt, he played the other one. What All right. Huh? Oh, oh. No, that's old. That's old. Oh, I, I, you know, I got children. Yeah, yeah. But in that movie, man, um, the, the superhero, I forget his name, but he was played by Brad Pitt, right? All right. And um, in that movie, he basically he pretended that he uh he didn't have no powers and shit. <laughs> basically, so so the the, the the villain could take over the city and run yeah. the city how he wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just a comparison on how the Heavenly Father did it. He basically pretended that he didn't have no power, all right? And he don't really run shit, all right? He just gave he gave the reins over to, to Esau, man, all right? And just like that movie, man, it's a movie called Mega. It's a spiritual movie, man. Brother, get a chance to check that out, man. But that's just a comparison. See, the Lord, he about to, he about to take the reins back from Esau, man. That's the point, man. He about to take the reins back and kick his ass out the chariot and trample over his ass with the horse and carriage, okay? <laughs> They neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Mm -hmm. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, and the Lord, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto him, man. And the souls of the just complain continually, man. The just, first and foremost, is the one-third, man. All right? 
All right, first and foremost, man, the innocent and righteous blood cry for two, man. All the innocent and righteous blood that the so-called uh, uh, Europeans came over here and spilt, man, when they killed the native and Seminole Indians, man. All right, and built up this land, man. Now they got these goddamn ancient Roman Colosseums, man. Right by by way of what the Quicken Loans Arena, Progressive Field, Jacob Pavilion, uh, and uh, fucking up, uh, man. First Brown, Energy. Yeah. First, first Energy, man. That ain't those ain't shit, but uh, uh, modern day uh Roman Colosseums, man. All right. And the majority of the motherfuckers who in there, man, is Jake's, man. Just like he was in the, in, the, in the beginning, man. Okay? Now, uh, hold that. Go, go back to it. Yeah, it comes. It is exit. They get us. Six and Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, what you was talking about. It is Exodus chapter 7, verse 4. It say, but the Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. And hey, y'all read that again. So like, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. This sure. Exodus chapter 7, verse 4. It say, but Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, mm -hmm. that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. Right, so Pharaoh, he, he, he the, the so-called white race, they, hey, hey, man, that's the Edomite right there, man. All right, and hey, you're not white, man. Your, your blood shows forth through your skin, man. You're an Edomite, all right? But the Lord, man, he, hey, read that again one more time, Oakley Shah. Uh -huh. And it's Exodus chapter 7, verse 4. It say, but Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. Yeah, these, these so-called white people, these elites, man, they not going to hearken unto us, man, all right? The, 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 the more we come out here, the harder they hearts get, man. The more stiff neck they get and rebellious they get, man. By us coming out here week in and week out, man. Saying that the so-called white race is the devil, man, that the Bible speaks of. Saying that America gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, by way of ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right? That's hardening the, the so-called white man's heart, man, by us doing that, man. These niggas, man, who these niggas think they is? Hey, just like when uh, Aaron and uh, Moses came, man. Yeah, Pharaoh yeah, was like, who these yeah, niggas, yeah, yeah. these niggas, who these niggas think they <laughs> is, man? And the ancient Egyptians, they was not so-called white people, man. They was real dark, dark-skinned people, man. All right? They was just real dark-skinned people.